Hello everybody, Dr. Strife here, bringing you a new video. Today we're talking about Phantom Breaker Omnia. Omnia? I hope I'm saying that correctly. I did get a code from Rocket Panda, the publisher, for this review. Uh, so let's talk about this game. It's a fighting game that I believe was back on the 360. I think I played it. It was a very obscure Japanese demo. Game never came out here. But now it's coming out here with full translation, full English support. So we're going to talk about it here and share my thoughts on this. Uh, character designs, I believe, are really fantastic. you got great looking characters. Uh, it, it looks like a hybrid between 2D and 3D, which I think works pretty well. It's not as shiny or as nice as like Guilty Gear Strive or Guilty Gear Exile, but I think it works okay here. Uh, they don't look pixelated or jaggy, and I don't think they look too bad at all. Also, you have uh, great backgrounds as well. I uh, wish there was like more movement or motion in the background, so just still images backgrounds. And also what's weird is between rounds, the stage backgrounds rotate a little bit. I think it's between the certain areas that you're in, which is kind of an odd touch. I'm not for sure why they did that. Like, I know there are some stage transitions where like it like, goes from day to dusk, but like with this one, like you start out in the schoolyard, then you fight in the cafeteria, then you're back in the schoolyard, but at night. And there's single player stuff if you're into that sort of thing there's a uh, you got your story mode you got an arcade mode a score attack mode and so on that you can go and just yeah there's a story with characters i really didn't get much into this i mean if you like these kind of stories it's gonna be your thing but there's nothing too deep nothing too serious it's kind of just a lighthearted romp so if you want to go through the characters learn more about them and the reasons why they're uh fighting then that will be a great source of entertainment for you. But it is kind of the static text background, but they do have voice acting over it, so that's good. And the voice acting options are in English and Japanese, so you pick what you prefer. And that's a nice touch that they decide to give this the full English language treatment, and it sounds like they're really trying to handle this with care. Music is actually really catchy. I enjoy it quite a bit. It really fits well with the fighting. It kind of gives me some of the vibes of uh, a lot of other anime style fighting games and I think they do really well with it here and it fits fits right in in fact I think the intro song uh, is done in English uh, by a uh, YouTube creator I believe who she does a lot of uh, anime covers and stuff so and I thought that was really catchy and that was done really well and then there's also galleries pictures to unlock I forgot there's training mode of course there's training mode all fighting games have training mode yeah, so, so far it sounds pretty good, right? Really good. Really great. Got a couple issues. One of the most annoying weird things is, I mean, it's good that they have the manual here you can view and stuff, but if you, like, go to training mode, for example, and want to learn the special moves of the characters or what they can do, you can't do that. Whether you pause in arcade mode, training mode, or whatever, command list is not there. There is no command list. It's very weird, very strange, and very bizarre that... They did not include that, and I don't understand why. Why that's not included here, because that's like an important part, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to the manual in the game, either like screenshot your PlayStation, take a picture of your phone, write it down, and then go back to training mode, then be like, oh, this is the move of the character. Like, it's very weird why that's not there. Even if it's just a port of an older game, I'm not for sure why a game in the 360 era would have had that, because games in the PS2 era had command lists in some of the games. So yeah, it was a really bit of a baffling thing. Uh, there is online, but it has no rollback net code. It does make a difference. If you're playing somebody close, it's probably not too bad. If you're playing, you know, a neighbor or somebody that doesn't live, you know, hundreds of miles away, then it's probably not going to be a bad time. But the further away you get, the harder it is. So if you want to play with your friends around the world or across the country, not going to be good. It's going to be rough. And, you know, one person might have a better experience than another, or both people might have bad experiences. That sucks. As far as I know, Rocket Panda, they said they haven't heard of any news whether they would add rollback. I hope they would, though, because if they can, I think this might help grow it and grow the community. But I will say, though, the gameplay stands out. I've, they do have these like certain modes, and different modes allow you to do 
uh, different stuff with the characters. You can, uh, with one, for example, there is one that's, I guess, more of like an easier that gives you more auto combo actions and more things to do. So if you're not really good at combos, you can easily get in and just smash a few attack buttons and be able to pull off cool stuff. Of course, like with any fighting game, a better player will wipe the floor with you. So it's best to read the manual and figure out what you need to do. I do have one more gripe. There is no type of tutorial mode teaching you basics, helping you understand the systems. It's all manual reading. So either you're going to have to find a guide somewhere on YouTube or, you know, or somebody you can watch, you can learn from. If you're not good at just learning from reading, then yeah, it's going to be a little rough. So I feel like it's missing some features. I feel like there's good stuff here, but it's also missing some stuff. And that's my gripe with it. I feel like it's missing some key important things. I feel like they focused a lot on the graphics. I feel like they focused a lot on the story, gameplay, They, you know, the basic gameplay. They focused on, on the music. They... I don't feel like they focused on the online as much. Like, simple menu things that are very important and these, like, modern conveniences that I feel like are missing from this release. I feel that they could do better to communicate with the player base on how to learn their game. But I feel like people will find ways to play it. They will find ways to learn. So I'm not worried about that. I will say, as an introduction, it might steer some people away, but I think overall it's a really good game. It just has a few shortcomings, but if you feel like picking it up for 40 uh, US, then go for it. If not, you can wait on a sale, but I, it's not a bad game. It's just It just needs a little more polish, I think, and maybe with updates they can do that. I don't know, but... As it stands, it's 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 okay release. It's it's got a good base layer. It just it just needs a little little sprucing up. But let me know what you think. If you're interested in this game, if you've been high in it, let me know what you think. And yeah, and thanks again, Rocket Panda, for uh, letting me dissect your game. <laughs> so till next time, everybody. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, share, follow me on Twitter at the Doctor Strife where I post screenshots of stuff I'm playing. I talk about games and make dumb jokes. So, anyways, till next time, game on.